Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Sonia and today we're talking about zinc. What is it? What benefits from it? What happens if you have a deficiency and how do you get some more? Okay, so zinc is the second largest trace element in our body apart from iron. And the amazing thing is we can't store it. So when it becomes depleted, it needs replacing. And if we're not replacing it, that's when we become deficient. So if you like information like this, you need to subscribe to my channel below so that you are notified of any of my video clips when I release them. So let's get back to zinc. 85% of zinc is stored in our muscles and bones, 11% in the skin and liver, and the rest in other tissues. And zinc absorption occurs in our duodenum. Where is zinc found naturally? It's found in things like oysters, red meat, pumpkin seeds, tofu, hemp seeds and beans. So these are all great sources of zinc. What does it do? Zinc is critical or essential in things like growth, immune factors, tissue maintenance and wound healing. So if we're deficient in zinc, these areas become affected. And it's considered or estimated that between 20 to 25% of the population are actually deficient in zinc. So organs that are known to be affected clinically by zinc deficiency are things like the epidermal or epidermis, gastrointestinal tract, the central nervous system, our immune system, the skeletal system, and our reproductive system. So zinc is a very important element, isn't it? It is estimated that 30% of the elderly population are deficient in zinc, but it's not only the elderly, it's, it can be vegans or vegetarians because they're eating a higher plant-based diet, which are full of phytates, and these actually reduce the uptake of zinc. So that's something to consider if you are a, a, on a vegan or vegetarian diet. Um, the other things that, you know, deficiency can include are things like growth retardation. We see this in places in developing countries such as India and Nepal, um, and as well as delayed puberty, hypogonadism in males, rough skin, poor appetite, delayed wound healing, and abnorm abnormalities in gustation, olfaction, and of night vision. So zinc is beneficial in many areas. And Age-related macular degeneration is a frequent occurrence also in the elderly and can be treated and, and, and can, it can lead to blindness. It can be treated by just introducing a zinc supplement. Other benefits include things like viral infections in our common colds, diarrhea, HIV and chronic hepatitis C in things like bacterial infections like uh, gas our gastric infections like Helicobacter pylori, um, parasitic infections like malaria, autoimmune diseases such as diabetes type 1, as well as rheumatoid arthritis, and uh, can also help in um, preventing transplant rejection as well. So interestingly, there are high amounts of zinc present in our brain, particularly the hippocampus and cerebral cortex. And it was shown that this zinc deficiency can actually negatively affect our, uh, uh, our brain homeostasis and results in things like impaired mental function, altered behavior, uh, altered learning and susceptibility to epileptic convulsions. So with this amount of homeostasis in our brain, if we don't have enough, it can present as depression as well. And studies have showed that an introduction of zinc as a supplement is almost as beneficial as introducing an antidepressant. Uh, also helpful in MS. And who is at risk are those who are growing rapidly, so in adolescence and bone growth. In addition, children and infants, infants and children, pregnant and lactating women and the elderly. How much should I have? 
The recommended dosage are five milligrams per day for children between seven months and three years and 10 milligrams a day for older children and adults can have 10 to 15. So it's recommended that your supplement be a zinc supplement that can be readily absorbed in the body, something like zinc gluconate or zinc acetate. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, as with anything, if you have a health concern and or you want to start implementing zinc in your diet, maybe go and have a chat with your doctor. Of course, this is just a general presentation. And if you have a particular health concern, you should be consulting with your GP. Now, I hope I see you next week. Subscribe below and of course, check out my references and sources in the description box below. See you next time. Bye bye.